All right guys, what's up? So I shoot in the desert a lot and it's just a lot of hard light that's always hitting and the Fuji handles it very well. But I realized when it comes down to my edits, sometimes I can't push the edit as hard when I'm shooting um, my apertures wide open. So I have the 56 1.2 and I just got the 16 1.4. And uh, I do love shooting wide open when it's more of a creative shoot. When I'm doing more of a branded gig, I can't really shoot wide open because I have to make sure the focus is on point and that the clothes and whatever is in focus. Again, sometimes when I'm shooting wide open and I have my ISO down to low to 80, I believe that's like a digital ISO. It's, get, it's like pushing it down a little bit. It's at dynamic range 100. And then when you go up to 320, the dynamic range goes up to 200. And then when you go to ISO 640, dynamic range goes up to 400. So I'm just had kind of a suspicion that maybe if I shoot in that very like uh, hard light and I want to shoot wide open that maybe I need to mo uh, rely more on a ND filter and not the low ISO setting um, so I just did some tests real quick just to see how far we can push the dynamic range so I took um, two sets of photos and in each set I did uh, the different dynamic ranges so this is ISO 80 I overexposed by one stop. I was aiming at this guy right here, my little uh, intake cover. Yeah, let's just see. So I'm just gonna crush the highlights and raise the shadows. So it doesn't look bad, but you can see in this black part right here, there's like no information when I lift the shadows. I'm sure if I bump the exposure up, there'll be something. Yeah, like you can see a little bit up in there. But again, this is crazy that this is ISO 80, dynamic range 100 and I mean, you can still push this. And I've, obviously, I'm using Capture One. Um, if you're shooting Fujifilm, Ditch Lightroom, uh, Capture One does way better. I mean, already we can see these highlights right here. And again, I overexposed it by one stop on all of them. But for some reason, the ISO 80, when I brought it into Capture One, it was a little bit brighter. So I don't know what that was all about. But So again, this was the ISO 400 um, Dynamic Range 200. And uh, let's go to the 640. Oh yeah. So you can just see it loses a little bit of pop. Let's try to even out. Um, here, let me add in, uh, let's do a histogram. So I definitely exposure a little hotter on that one and a little lower on this one. So let me just bump up the exposure a tiny bit. Try to even that out. That one's still, we'll bump up both. Let's just check it down the histogram right here to see how even they are. So first of all, still bump this one up a little bit more. But yeah, so we can obviously see that the Dynamic Range 100, um, it's definitely missing some details in the highlights. Um, and it's kind of a hazy day, so the sun wasn't as harsh, but you can already tell that if the sun was more harsh on this metal, that uh, it would definitely not have as much Dynamic Range to it. So I'm not seeing such a big jump between dynamic range 200 and 400, but definitely 100 to 200 is a big leap. All right, let's check on this second set of photos. Crush the highlights, raise the shadows. So this was ISO 80, dynamic range 100, ISO 320, dynamic range 200, oh, already. And then 400, move that up, okay. So definitely dynamic range 100. You can see we're losing details in the trees right here. Here we can just even push this even more. Um, let's see, let's try to make this exact. So you can see in the shadows over here, well obviously the sunspot, I mean, that's the sun right there. So you can see where the light was. Um, you can see that's just super blown out. Dynamic range 200, it saves a little bit more details. Uh, it blends it a little bit better. And then 400 blends it even better. And of course, that's, again, that's the sun. It's going to be a hot spot. But definitely, if you're shooting in really like, bad lighting conditions and you can't turn around or there's not much you could do with it, uh, it might be safer to go down at range 400. I'd rather have a little bit more noise in there than uh, blown out highlights. I mean, that's a So again, this is dynamic range 100. 400, definitely a big difference. Wow, I wasn't expecting that big of a difference. Let's check out the trees. 100. Oh yeah, you can see details getting kind of lost. Then I raise 200. It comes back, and 400. It just looks a little bit smoother. Let's push this up two stops. Let's see what happens here. 
course, I'm going to get a bunch of noise. Yeah, so again, there's not a huge difference in the shadows on dynamic range 200 and 400. Let's try dynamic range 100. Yeah, there's definitely not as, like the information uh, doesn't transition as smooth, if that makes sense. But again, the highlights, you can see, and 400 just looks the smoothest in the highlights. Let's even go down the clouds over here. And again, the exposure is pushed by two stops right now. Yeah, it's just not as smooth. Let's uh, put this back to normal. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So again, dynamic range 100. Um, I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but definitely if I was in a sticky situation, um, yeah. I, I think I'm gonna stay away from going down to ISO 80. Um, at least try to go to ISO 320, maybe use the ND filter on the more creative stuff. Again, it's not, when you're on a gig and you're making money for something, don't shoot wide open, because if you miss focus on something, you're going to be screwed. I'd rather have a super in focus iPhone shot um, that has a lot of details of the clothing or the subject rather than a super book book it out like shot that looks awesome but the subject or the clothes or the objects not in focus. And I'm telling you right now the clients not going to be happy with that. So yeah. Well, I guess I'll have to do another test with uh, my neutral density filter and seeing how that holds up. Let's push this set of photos by two stops and see what happens. All right. So definitely dynamic range 100. We're losing all this info in there. And then dynamic range 200, 400 just looks way better. Let's push this by three stops. I'm just I'm intrigued now. Yeah, I'm kind of liking the dynamic range 200 more. Yeah, obviously we're, we're pushing us by three stops and it's going to have a lot of noise and grit to it. Yeah, I like dynamic range 200 more. Look at that. Look at the detail right here. Then when you go to the 640, you kind of lose some of that. when you're Again, when it's being pushed in post. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to do another test at night too just to see. I mean, I mean, and again, this guy, like I shot this. Uh, um, on a 16 millimeter at f3.6, and look how sharp this is. That's this was me my focusing point. But yeah. Yep. Well, I guess that uh, answered my question. So I'm gonna stay away from ISO 80. I'm not gonna shoot wide open if I have my neutral density filter. It's just safer. Again, when I'm when you're trying to push edits and do like crazy looking colors and all that you need as much information as you can have um so yeah i don't know and again this is a crop sensor like this thing kills look at this i push this by three stops and all the details there and i overexposed it by one stop too it's crazy then this is the regular shot bump the exposure up so it's correct and then save the highlights and look at all the information you have there it's pretty insane there you guys, uh, let me know what tests you've done, um, if you have had different results or if you're kind of suspicious of the same thing. So again, if you're shooting very harsh light, again, I live in California, I'm right next to Palm Springs, I'm always shooting out here, that's like my main gig. Uh, everyone knows me as like the desert dude, so <clears throat> now I know not to shoot at ISO 80, uh, go to at least 320 and use the ND if I want to shoot wide open to get bokeh. But yeah guys. If you have any questions, let me know. You can shoot me on Instagram, DM me, or just leave a comment. But yeah, guys, I got to head out. I have a 4 a.m. call time in Joshua Tree in the morning, so I need to pack up and pack all my gear up and clean everything before I hit the road because I'm crashing out there for the night. Um, so, yeah, peace.